Hi everyone! So today we will have our new lesson and our lesson is about Division of Decimals. Let's watch this. Since we are done in multiplication of decimals, so today we will discuss about the division of decimals up to two decimal places and dividing whole numbers with quotients in decimal form. So division of decimals is somewhat similar to division of whole numbers. Just like yung pinag-usapan natin in multiplying decimals, if we know how to divide whole numbers, we can easily divide the decimals. Let us, let us study the problem. Ms. Reyes has 6400 cm of ribbon. She needs 400 cm to be used to prepare one certificate. How many certificates can she prepare with the ribbon that she has? So, what is asked in the problem? How many certificates can she prepare with the ribbon that she has? And the given is 6400 cm of ribbon and 400 cm to be used per one certificate. So if we're going to solve this, we will use the operation division. So nag divide natin. So we will divide 6400 divided by 400s. So in dividing decimals, may first rule tayo. So, yung inside number, ito yung dividend. Then, yung outside, yan yung divisor. Dapat ang divisor is a whole number. So, paano natin gagawin whole number ang 400s? So, by simply move the decimal point, going to the right. Dapat nasa dulo na yan. So, if we're going to move, we will count 1, 2. Kung ilan ang move natin sa divisor, ganun din ang move natin sa dividend. So, 1, 2. So, ang magiging sagot natin, or if you are going to write this, so it will become 64 divided by 4. So, since whole number na yan, we will ap apply the rule in dividing whole numbers. So, 1 at a time tayo. So, from the dividend, 6 divided by 4 equals 1. So, since ang ginamit natin is 6, so, tapat tap, sa tapat niya, ilalagay yung tamang sagot. 1 times 4 equals 4. 6 minus 4 equals 2. Then bring down 4. 24 divided by 4 equals 6. 6 times 4 equals 24. So 24 times 24 equals 0. So our answer is 16. So meaning 16 certificates, uh, Miss Reyes can prepare with the ribbon that she has. How can we check if... Uh, our answer is correct. So, by getting the quotient 16, we will multiply it by the divisor, which is 4. So, dapat ang magiging sagot natin, same with the dividend. So, 4 times 6 equals 24, carry 2. 4 times 1 equals 4, plus 2 equals 6. So, same ng dividend, the answer. So, meaning, our answer is correct. So, let us find the quotient. So, quotient means the answer in dividing numbers. Show how the decimal point is moved in the divisor and the dividend. So, the given is 10 and 40 divided by 3 hundredths. So, again, we will move the decimal point. So, from the divisor, we will move going to the right by 1, 2. So, kung ilan ang move natin sa divisor, yun din ang move natin sa dividend. So, 1, 2. So, from the given, magiging 1,040 divided by 3. So, since 1 is less than 3, doon tayo sa 10. Pagsamayin natin. O, 10 divided by 3 equals 3. 3 times 3 equals 9. 10 minus 9 equals 1, bring down 4. 14 divided by 3 equals 4. 
4 times 3 equals 12. 14 minus 12 equals 2, bring down 0. So 20 divided by 3 equals 6. 6 times 3 equals 18. So 20 minus 18 equals 2. So dyan na natin ipapasok yung pag-a-add ng decimal point. So since meron pa tayong remainder, so we can add 0. Since mayroon tayong decimal point, dapat yung quotient natin, lagyan din natin. Then bring down 0. 20 divided by 3 equals 6. 6 times 3 equals 18. 20 minus 18 equals 2. Kung mapapansin nyo, repeating. So, pwede na natin yan lagyan ng bar line sa taas yung sabot natin. Ibig sabihin yan, paulit-ulit na magiging 6, 6, 6 yan. Kahit na tayo magdagdag ng 0. Okay. So, let us proceed to example number 2. For uh, 30 and 12 hundredths divided by 4 hundredths. So, again, magmumove tayo ng decimal point from the divisor. Kung ilang move, so 1, 2. Ganon din ang move sa dividend, so 1, 2. So, from the given, magiging 3,012 divided by 4. Bakit din na natin sinulot yung 0? Since all number yan, yung 0 dyan, wala na yung value. So, pwede ba siya sa 3? No. So, doon tayo hanggang 30. 30 divided by 4 equals 7. 7 times 4 equals 28. 30 minus 28 equals 2. Bring down 1. 21 divided by 44 equals 5. 5 times 4 equals 20. 21 minus 20 equals 1. Bring down 2. 12 divided by 4 equals 3. 3 times 4 equals 12. 12 minus 12 equals 0. So the answer is 753. So let us study this given problem or given numbers. So 12 divided by 15. What can you say about the dividend and the divisor? Mas malaki ang divisor. So by this time, you will divide whole numbers with quotients in decimal form. So, as we all know, 12 divided by 15 equals 0. 0 times 15 equals 0. So, 12 minus 0 equals 12. Ang gagawin natin, we need to add 0. But before we go on, since 12 is a whole number, we will put a decimal point. Kung nagput tayo ng decimal point in the dividend, also the quotient, maglalagay din tayo. So, decimal point, then 0. This 0 will become or bring down. So, magiging 120. So, 120 divided by 15 equals, ilang 15 yon. So, 8. 8 times 15 equals 120. 120 times 120 equals 0. So, if we are going to check, we will multiply. So, 15 times 8 tenths. So, we're going to multiply 8 times 5 equals 40. 8 times 1 equals 8 plus 4 equals 12. So, decimal point 1, so magiging support is only 12. Same answer. So, another example. 81 and 7500 divided by 3. So, since malaki naman ang dividend natin, we just continue to divide. So, again, 1 at a time time mag divide so, 8 divided by 3 equals 2. 2 times 3 equals 6. 8 minus 6 equals 2. Bring down 1. 21 divided by 3 equals 7. 7 times 3 equals 21. So, since may decimal point tayo, put a decimal point in the quotient kung anong tapat. 21 minus 21 is 0. Pwede na natin hindi isulat. Pwede rin namang pwede isulat. Then, bring down 7. 7 divided by 3 equals 2. 2 times 3 equals 6. 7 minus 6 equals 1. Bring down 5. 15 divided by 3 equals 5. 5 times 3 equals 15. So, 15 minus 15 equals 0 or x. So, ang ating quotient ay 21, 27, and 25 hundredths. 
So, if we are going to check again, mumultiply lang natin ang ating quotient to, to the divisor, ang magiging sagot ay ang dividend. So, what if ang given natin is in fraction form? 14 over 6. As we all know, pag sinabing fraction, pwede natin yung gawing division. So, yung 14 sa numerator magiging dividend and yung fraction uh, denominator magiging divisor. So, pwede na na tayo mag-divide. So, since 1 is smaller than 6, gawin natin 14. 14 divided by 6 equals 2. 2 times 6 equals 12. 14 minus 12 equals 2. So, since may remainder tayo, hindi pa tayo mag-stop dyan. So, again, kapag whole number, a decimal point, then 0. So, put a decimal point in the quotient. So, bring down 0. 20 divided by 6 equals 3. 3 times 6 equals 18. 20 minus 18 equals 2. Ayan na naman. So, if we're going to add 0 again, so 0. So, 20 divided by 6 equals 3. 3 times 6 equals 18. 20 minus 18 equals 2. Again, ang tawag dyan ay repeating. So, pwede na natin mag-stop tayo, then put a bar line or guhit sa taas. Yung number, ibig sabihin nun, paulit-ulit. So, pwede na tayo mag-stop dyan. So, our quotient is 2 and 33 hundreds. So, again, tingnan natin yung sample na lang last. 20 and 44 hundreds divided by 5. So, wala tayo i-move since, again, ang ating divisor ay whole number. Yun lang naman ang focus natin. So, we can divide 2 by 5, no. So, sama natin yung 0. So, 20 divided by 5 equals 4. Since hanggang 20, dapat ang, ang quotient natin, itatapat natin sa 0. 4 times 5 equals 20. 20 minus 20 equals 0. Pwede isulat, pwede hindi. So, decimal point, put a decimal point in our quotient, then bring down 4. Kahit hindi yan pwede, mas maliit, Divide tayo kasi bring down 1 at a time. So, 4 divided by 5 equals 0. 0 times 5 equals 0. Then, 4 minus 0 equals 4. Bring down 4. 44 divided by 5 equals 8. 8 times 5 equals 40. 40 minus 40, 44 minus 40 equals 4. Mag-stop na ba tayo? Not yet. So, let us add. So, magdalagay ka pa ba ng decimal point sa dividend? No. Ito na yung decimal point natin. So, you need to add more zero na lang. Then, this zero will be bring down. So, 40 divided by 5 equals 8. 8 times 5 equals 40. 40 minus 40 equals 0. Our x. So, our quotient is 4 and 88,000. So, in learning task 3, you will solve for n. So, n is the quotient. So, tipa, explain ko lang yung number 1. Kapag ganyan ang format ng division, so, yung nauna, yun yung magiging dividend. 12 and 8800s divided by 9200s. Again, kapag ang given na divisor ay may decimal, you need to make it in a whole number. So, you need to move. Kapag nag-move tayo sa divisor, mag-move din tayo sa dividend. So, ilang move yan? 1, 2. So, 1, 2. I will not show the solution on this learning task. Instead, you will comment down below your answers in this learning task. I will check it in your comment section, in our comments box. So, the reference of this lesson is from 5 4 a Math 5, Quarter 2, pages 22 to 25. Thank you for watching. Thank you, my dear Road to 1000 subscribers. I am your teacher, Carmen. And don't forget to like and subscribe my YouTube channel. Bye!